it was May Day on the island of Soda. And the angels were celebrating. They knew that the music was lots of fun. The station was being decorated. The top of hat said that the angels could be decorated too. I'm going to have flags and streamers, whistled Percy. I'm going to have a big red banner, whistled Thomas. What decorations will you have, Gordon? asked Murdoch. Decorations aren't dignified for an important engine like me. I pull the express. Gordon was feeling insulted. Silly little engines, he grunted. Thomas was enjoying himself. He was bringing the maple. The farmer's children waved. Thomas peeped happily as he passed by. Soon it was time for the decorating. Percy's driver was wrapping streamers and flags around his funnel. Thomas had a big red banner on his tanks. Even Murdoch was being decorated, although he was very shy about it. We can have a contest for the best dressed engine, suggested Jane. Just then, Gordon shunted in. A contest? He puffed. I'm bound to win any contest. You will have to be decorated, said James. This is a best-dressed engine contest. Not me, puffed Gordon. You never catch me looking so ridiculous. The engines felt splendid. line, a colorful banner was strung across the bridge. Then, as Gordon steamed across the bridge, it came loose, wrapped around his firebox. Gordon couldn't see the line ahead. Gordon tried to push the banner off, but it wouldn't budge. I can't see! He whistled loudly to his driver. Stop! You can't stop, Gordon, the driver called back. You're the express. Trevor was chugging slowly along with his load of apples for the children's apple bar. Trevor heard a whistle. He was going as fast as he could. But it wasn't fast enough. The apples were all smashed. James was the last engine to join the contest. Or so he thought. Here comes Gordon, cried the passenger. Thomas. I didn't, huffed Gordon. Well, you're definitely the best dressed engine, said James. All the engines agreed. Gordon was secretly pleased, but he didn't think it was dignified to say so. Silly Gordon. 